when I hear the word origin, the first thing I think of is superheroes and action figures and the little comic book that you would get with them that told the whole story before. So before you play with the figure and you like do all the the motions and stuff you get to learn about it like that and you only get like four or five pages and then you got to go buy the comic book so here's my four or five pages Shh. born in Brooklyn grew up in Rockaway Beach went to LA was doing a little of everything and just started painting a lot and hung out with a lot of people who like to paint a lot. I would consider myself an artist. Um, this style that I'm doing right now is is uh, is a lot of fun and there is a lot of drawings involved. But um, as you you hang out with the paint longer and play with it and and make a lot of pieces, you realize that you're good at. And you're good and bad at things you didn't know you were good and bad at. So I'm moving into uh, using a lot of brush work, which is really cool. And I like to play with everything. I like to try everything. Because I even like taking photos, too. And being in photos and all of it. Cutting them up and then painting on the photos. So there's really no specific category. But artist is the most comfortable. Jean-Michel Basquiat and then inspired by you know just just making a difference and leaving a mark like Andy Warhol and Keith Haring like those guys especially being in New York scene and find myself in an LA scene and coming back to New York so I'm also inspired like music fuels a lot like the poetry of lyrics and like Kings of Leon to Frank Sinatra to Wiz Khalifa man so whatever's playing, like you can't, I can't paint without music. I mean, I can, it's in a different flavor, you know? So my inspirations come from past greats who've done something that I really respond to. And then also, you know, people that aren't afraid to share what they're going through. And musicians seem to be like that. Artists seem to be like that. Actors have it, but they have to mask it and put it through a character. So when you see a good actor, you're like, I saw a piece of him even though he was playing somebody else. So, inspiration comes to me from people who live their life and have a real reaction to what life throws at you. When I create a piece, I have like, it's just like we're just kicking it and hanging out with my friends and, and um, or whatever, and you're like, ah, oh, I wanna say something, I wanna say that, I wanna paint this, you know? The process changes every day. And that's something that's the best part about it. I, and once I have a method down, you lose it. Once you, once you, once you be like, I nailed it, and then you use the recipe. If you write down artist recipes, you're gonna fail. Keep changing, keep trying, keep using things, and like, and that's how you grow. Presently, right now, there's a lot of stuff going on in my life. I'm in love, I'm not sleeping a lot, I'm working very hard, I'm making a lot of things, and I'm also like holding back on a lot of the things because I, I can't want to put it all out yet. And I'm traveling a lot, New York, LA, so you'll find that kind of slide into the work. I feel like in the past, those big moments that have happened, I always keep them in my bank. Like, when my father passed away, which is, you know, huge. Like, I, I have to be happy that I had him for as many years as I did, but that's just like, boom, that's in a folder that when I need to call on it, I can, I can, I can use that fire, you know? So I have like all these tanks inside of me that give different moods, and if I'm in that mood, the work will be a little sadder that day, or might be a little poignant, or, or might be like, sometimes I'll lose you, you know? Sometimes it'll be like, whoa. But then sometimes, like how I'm feeling right now, I've got a bunch of love here tonight, so many people are happy, there's a lot of like, people looking at the work, like what the hell is this? Some people don't get the translation yet, you don't sometimes get it, so I kind of thrive off of that. I love turning people into believers, because sometimes that's what it is with things you love. It could even be a song, like, what? Then you hear it a few times, you're like, ah. Oh. So like take a closer look. I hope that the audience takes away from this show and this work. It's, it's a lot of fun. Throughout all the pieces, there's a there's a there's a part about being a kid and not being afraid to make mistakes and making mistakes and go with it without having words on a lot of the pieces and having just 
just, you know, the flow of the pen and the drawing and the paint and where things are placed. I like people to be like, man, he must have been having fun when he made that, because that looks like fun. If you're not doing what makes you happy and if you're not having fun, then you are wasting time, because there ain't a lot of it. So that's what I'd like them to take apart. I'm like, these dudes are having fun. I want to go home and have fun. Gregory Seth, and you're watching Quiet Lunch.